Hello, lovely people. Welcome to my channel. My name is Ryan. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing some of my underwear and a story about underwear. Before I get started, I just wanna give a huge thank you to Underwear Expert for spoiling me and giving me the best of the best every time. Honestly, my tush has never been more pampered. I can tell you that. So, today's video is going to explain what trans men may want to consider and look for when they're shopping for some new underwear. And since Christmas is coming along, it is December now, I believe it is a really good gift idea for the trans man in your life. Just any man in your life. <laughs> I really, really wish I had known about this company when I was first transitioning because there are so many good things about how this works and how it would have benefited me then even more so than it does now. I would like to show you my box from this month. All black, discreet, there's no product labels about it. It's just the shipping label. So how is a black box great for a trans man? Well, when I was trying to buy my first pair of men's underwear, I was trying to do it discreetly. I didn't want anyone to know. I didn't want my family to know. I just wanted it for myself. And it was actually an important part of my transition, although I didn't know that back then. I just knew that it was something I really wanted and that I felt would help with my dysphoria. You know, some people wouldn't really think that the right kind of underwear makes a difference. And I was one of those people. But now I'm a changed man. I've been exposed to the world of quality underwear. <laughs> Let me tell you my story of my struggle when I was trying to buy my first pair of underwear. So I was in high school, 15 years old, and I decided to get my first pair or a pack of boxer briefs. Went by myself. I was trying to get back home before anyone else was there and they could see what I bought. So it was supposed to be a really quick trip, just in and out, go back home. But it didn't happen that way. So I was really anxious in the men's underwear aisle, trying to figure out what size I was, just eyeballing it. And it's hard to figure out what size you're gonna be without trying it on, like you can't really know for sure. So I didn't, I didn't know what size it was. I was thinking that I would be an extra small. I couldn't find any in the section. I couldn't find extra smalls. My next best bet, I thought, was the boys section. I go to the boys section and I just decided to grab it was either medium or large, and I got the heck out of there. Went back home and tried them on. They didn't fit. The ones I got were too small, so they were like literally cutting off my circulation on my thigh, and they were really squeezing my hips, which created more dysphoria, even though the point of it was to try to make it less. So not only did I waste the money, it just was all bad. Things are different now. If you're new to the transition, if you're trying to buy your first pair of men's underwear, this is definitely a really good beginning because I wouldn't have had to go and try to find my size because they send you the underwear to your door in a discreet box where no one will know it's underwear. You see? You see why it's so great? Now, if you're not out yet, it's a good idea to get. Now I'm going to show you what I got this time. Okay. There's the logo. In the boxes, I've been getting underwear tips. So this is underwear tip number 33. If you start getting too sweaty down there, it's a little damp. Stay away from classic cotton and go for a more lightweight fabric with moisture wicking properties. Thanks for the tip. And three pairs of underwear. I get three pairs in each box that I get. You could choose one to three pairs every one to three months. Up to you on the website. Each pair is individually wrapped. Code 22. This one is Marco Marco A. And that's it, my three pairs for today. Two pairs of boxer briefs because those tend to be my preference. Those are the most comfortable for me. Love wearing them pretty much at any time. And then got one pair of trunks. What's the difference between boxer briefs and trunks? I wondered when I was a young trans boy. 
military trunks. Just the front and the back. Moisture wicking, so this is definitely something to wear when I'm working out. I already know. So the trunks are shorter on the thighs, on the leg, and then boxer briefs are longer on the leg. And this is great because it protects against chafing. So here is my Marco Marco pair. Love the color, stretch. The design on the waistband is cool and thick. Again, preventing rolling. And there's also a little bit of space here on the pouch. The last one, these are the best quality underwear that I have. Classic, just black, simple, minimalistic, but great quality. Look how stretchy that is. I, can you tell how comfortable these are going to be? It's microfiber material, has a little pouch here for contour and for added supports for a packer. The length, I love the length. Much longer, much more comfortable for me. So I have on the black boxer briefs that I got. So soft, so comfortable. These are going to be a new favorite. Oh, also, I don't have a packer in right now. Just letting you know. See, I love the way it just hugs so amazingly. Thick waistband, no rolling. You see how it makes my hips look more straight. It's a more masculine fit. And that also affects how shirts fall. And because of the length here, it protects against any riding up or chafing right there. Now I put on the military trunks and I'm gonna show you the difference in length. Say I'm wearing like a little bit of baggier pants. That's when my thighs would tend to rub against the extra fabric and it hurts, it's not fun. <laughs> I like this design, I don't have anything like this. Like, all the underwear I get, I never have anything of. They're all so diverse, so there's so much variety. Now I have on the last pair of boxer briefs I got. What was great about these, in particular, was that there was no tag in the back. You know, so it's not like scratchy, you know, scratching the back or anything like that. Again, these were super comfortable, super soft, they fit around all of my curves and they don't draw attention to my hips. Underwear expert is very helpful because all you have to do is give them your waist size and they do the rest. You don't have to worry about choosing from small, medium, or large. So for me, I know that my waist is 28 in inches. So I just tell them that on the website and they send me all the underwear that's gonna fit me. High quality stuff. Like I said, I think this would be a really great Christmas present. I think it's cool. I get happy every time I see that little black box. And if you are interested in getting a box for yourself or someone else, guess what? I have a coupon code for you for 55% off your first month, your first box. That will be on the screen somewhere. <laughs> you could choose your style preferences and designs that you like. If you like more colorful things or if you just like simple colors, you can get a variety. There's the briefs. There's the boxer briefs, trunks, drog straps, and thongs. Totally up to you. I'm also going to leave a link to the website in the description. Easy access for you to go ahead and choose your own. There's an option at the end for if you want to choose exactly which pairs you're going to get or if you want to be surprised. I like being in control, I like knowing what I'm going to get, so that's why I usually choose my own. By this point, I know what kind of underwear I like. I know I like the boxer briefs the most, so that's why in this box, I got two. That's going to be it for this video, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked anything that you heard, if you found any of these tips helpful for choosing your own underwear, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. More content is coming, I promise. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. <laughs>